Hey guys, it's Michelle and thank you for coming back for the next toy video. I have been trying to get more into doing these. I love collecting as you guys know, it's just that like for the past year and a half I just got away from it because life kind of escapes you and other things came up and like they were like sitting in my wish list on like different websites all over the place and I never just went and purchased them. But we are now. I am so sore guys. I went to the gym and I overdid it. My legs are killing me. Oh, it's worth it. It's worth it. Anyway, so this set of toys, I'm very excited. I've been wanting these. I actually owned these when I was a kid, but like I've said so many times, I'm sure they're, they found their way to a landfill or wherever my dad liked to. He did that a lot. When we were kids, he'd throw my stuff out and like he would pretend like, oh, I didn't throw that out. Like act like I didn't, like I'd never had in the first place. It was kind of like a real butthole thing to do, but you know, it is what it is. Um, but anyway, I had this set as a child and it was like one of my absolute favorites. Now this set also had a toddler toy with it. So obviously it's a McDonald's item. Um, I did have a toddler toy with it as well, but it was just like a bath book and I didn't really have the interest in that. I'm sure I'll regret not to getting it at some point, but to be fair, these are all tub toys. I just, I never liked the whole bath books as a kid. Like I hated those stupid things. Like just get, it makes no sense to me. Anyway, um, these are all bath toys with the exception of one of them, possibly two. Um, I, I would think that they were fine for toddlers, but I'm not a parent, so I don't know. So this is from one of my favorite movies of all time. It is Muppet Treasure Island. I love that. It's one of my absolute favorite movies of all time. One of my favorite. It's hard to pick a favorite Muppet movie, but it's definitely one of the top. Um, I love Tim Curry. He's one of my absolute favorite actors. I love him to pieces. And so I had to get the toy that were kind of, um, part of that because for some reason there's not a lot of merchandise surrounding that movie for whatever reason. I don't understand why. Um, yeah, I don't understand why. That's fine. So the first toy I'm going to show you, this one is the one that I think uh, would not be appropriate for somebody under the age of three. So I, this I don't think would be um, proper for a toddler. So this is the Kermit toy. And the reason why I say that is because this piece does come off. I found so many of this particular toy online where the um, sale was missing. But this is one of those water toys where it squirts. Here. So love this little guy so that is our little captain kermit that wasn't his name though his name was smollett captain smollett and there's a video game in the background so please pardon the sounds of gunfire but anyway so this is the ship which was called the hispaniola in the movie um, and on the bottom like i always love looking at like the little details on here so these came out in 1995 um, it says drain after each use because this is a water toy and obviously if you keep water in here it's going to breed bacteria and possible mold. What else is here? This is made in China. And it does also say drain after each use in Spanish and it looks like French as well. So look at how adorable. I love it. And actually considering that it's like 24 years old, um, the paint on it is pretty good. A little scrape here, but it's pretty. I mean, these are, I believe, used toys. I mean, it, and I'm gonna wash it anyway. I do see like a little like stuff here and there, but considering very, very good condition, love it. So that's my Captain Smollett. We'll put little Captain Smollett right there. Okay, so the next one I'll show you. We'll do this toy. Let me put him back in his. Come on. Is this one is this a barrel toy and this one is Fozzie and his name I forget because like this toy he pops up and down I think in the water water pushes him up so he's like bouncing up and down what was the name of his character Squire Trelawney I believe is one his rich halfwit son young Squire Trelawney so um so that's Fozzie it's not focusing because that's how my life is. It's focusing on everything but what I wanted to focus on. So as you can see here, he's got a little octopus there, a starfish here. 
wants to focus on me instead of him. Focus on him. They know what I look like. Come on. Come on. Sorry guys, it's taking forever. There we go. There's what we want. So there's the octopus. There's the starfish. He said with the water he would just push himself up. With the long hair that he had in the film. Um, super cute. I think there's a way of keeping him up. Yes, yeah, so there we go. So he stands up a little bit better. Very, very cute. We'll put Fuzzy right there. Maybe it'll focus better when it's behind me. That seems to be what they're doing. Cute. So the next two toys. This one is Gonzo and he's got treasure and with this one you would press down on the treasure and it's a moving toy as you can see it's a little boat would move this was actually one of my favorites when I was younger loved this little toy and I think it's funny that Rizzo is nowhere on here whatsoever because in the film if you've seen the film um Gonzo, Rizzo, and um, Master Orkins is the young kid, like the main character in the film as far as humans go, next to Tim Curry. So the, the three of them were close throughout the film, if you haven't seen it, totally recommend that you do. But I act, most films, it's normally Gonzo and Rizzo, they, they are pretty close. So I'm actually shocked that they didn't try putting Rizzo somewhere on here, whether like on the side or like somewhere on here, like hanging on, like, you know, like, ah, something like that. Um, because Gonzo and Rizzo are like, like Kin and Kel or Milk and Cookie, like they're always together. I'm sure I'm going to get a comment for the Kin and Kel thing. Like, the 90s reference guys if you don't know who Keenan and Kel is look it up awesome show love that show um but yeah so that is Gonzo paint um, again these toys are in impeccable condition for being 24 years old now the other Fozzy and Gonzo don't have any writing on the toy whatsoever um just stating that it's from the Henson company 1995 Henson made in China doesn't even say that they're from McDonald's. I know that that's where they came from, but I feel like today a lot of the toys actually say that on there, but I've gotten older ones as well that I've collected that lets you know where they're from. I gotta double check some of them now. I could have sworn that it does say on there or have something to do with it on there. But that is little Gonzo, who is one of my favorites. He wasn't when I was younger, but I, I like him a lot more now that I'm an adult. Well, I do see that he's got some scraping on his eye, just ever so slightly, but again, not the end of the world. These toys do need to be cleaned before any of my toys go into my actual collection. They get a good clean down. So this one was definitely, I would say, next, I love that toy, but this was obviously my favorite because of who it is. You probably already know. This is our beautiful Miss Piggy. Love, love, love her. So she plays Benjamina Gunn. So she's the, um, she was marooned on an island and uh, the inhabitants of the island make her kind of like um, a queen. That's her, her little chair. This one actually changes color in water. I didn't realize that as a, ch after I had gotten the toy when I was younger, um, it took me a while to realize that she actually does change color. Um, some of her paint is cracked, but it's expected for the age, and there's like dust on it. It needs to be cleaned, like I've said that about all of them. And this one just says 1995 Henson, made in China. And it's her, it's the chair, it's similar to, um, one of the chairs that they would like carry, like a, a queen or a princess in. So that is what she looks like. Um, as far as the outfit colors, not very close to what she wore. I mean, she always wore the purple glove. I think she's still known for wearing purple gloves. I don't know if they've changed that feature, but uh, Miss Piggy has worn purple gloves for a very, very long time. 
um, the long purple gloves. So she definitely has those on. But the rest of the outfit, I mean, they can't really get into details. It's a McDonald's toy, so these toys are given away for free in Happy Meals. So the details of the dress are not the same as what she wears in the film. Um, the headdress is similar, but not exact to the film, obviously. But everything else is pretty much close. Um, like I said, one of my absolute favorites. I adore her. Miss Piggy was like one of my first like fashion icons when I was a child. Um, I've, I've thought about doing a video about my fashion icons like when I was younger as opposed to now. I thought that would be kind of a cool concept. So, um, but she was definitely one of them and I love her. I still love her. Um, again, these just came in today. They need to be cleaned. There's lots of dust on this particular one. Um, I actually think there might be some soap scum on here looking at like where her waist is. Whatever. There is some stuff there that I would say is probably soap scum. Not the end of the world. Can be easily cleaned. So that's that. So guys, I'm going to get going. I'm going to be filming one more video after this. So not a toy video though, but still an awesome video nonetheless. So thank you guys so much for watching. Down below I'm going to have the link for my Amazon wishlist that you guys have requested. Um, for a very long time so I'm just letting you know it's down there I do have quite a few I gotta do this video soon I have I've done videos on this which aren't up yet but these are some of them I just gotta do the outfits with these ones and then these are items that have came in I've opened them to do the video but I haven't shot it yet so lots of your items are here and I can't wait to get into it so I'll see you next video bye